So now we're going to take that basic squat, what we call the air squat, and add some variations to it by adding weight. So we're going to look at something called the back squat, the front squat, and the overhead squat. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at is the back squat. So Shelly, if you'll go ahead and get in position. And for these different variations, everything that we learned about the basic squat is staying the same. Her feet are at shoulder width apart, her toes are turned slightly out, her back is flat, weight is in her heels. So for the back squat, go ahead and show us what one looks like. Good, and it's easy to remember, it's just like it sounds, that weight is um, on your back. And whenever you get the weight on your back, uh, Shelly, you can go ahead and stand up. Um, we want that bar to be sitting right on your traps, on those muscles right there. So if it gets up too high, it's going to be on top of your spine. Um, you don't want that. So if this feels uncomfortable, like it's hitting your bones, you need to readjust the position. All right, Shelly, go ahead and do one more squat for us. And the back squats works what we call your posterior muscle. So it works um, your back, your hamstrings, your calves, your glutes, um, and it also really works your core. All these squats we're doing, it takes a tremendous amount of core work to stabilize this weight. The next type of squat we'll look at is what's called the front squat. Uh, so Shelly, will you show us what one looks like? Notice everything's the same. You can go ahead and rack it. Everything's the same. Her uh, feet, position, squatting below parallels, weight in the heels, flat back, all that's the same. The only difference is the bar is going to be in the front. So to get set up, you want to have your hands right outside of your shoulders. Um, Shelly, go ahead and uh, set that bar up. When you're holding the bar, if you have the wrist flexibility, you can go ahead and have all your fingers around the bar, or you can do like Shelly does and have a few hanging out. So for people that don't have quite a bit of the flexibility, um, you can have your fingers hanging out. Um, the other thing is this bar is resting right on her shoulders there. So she's, you know, it's not up in the air, um, it's resting on the shoulders. Her hands are actually just guiding that bar. The weight is not on her fingers and wrist. And then notice that her triceps are parallel to the ground. We want to keep those elbows up high. So Shelly, drop your elbows down. What we don't want is this. That bar starts rolling forward, puts a tremendous amount of stress on your elbows and shoulders, uh, which you don't want. You want to keep those elbows up. Now Shelly, go ahead and squat down and hold it in the bottom. Notice how her elbows stay up in the bottom. This is where most people have a really difficult time. You can go ahead and squat up. When you squat down, it requires even more flexibility to keep those elbows up. So make sure when you're squatting, keep those elbows up. Shelly, go ahead and do one more for us. Elbows up, elbows up. Good. And you can rack it. The front squat is great for working your anterior muscles. So that's the muscles in the front, um, your quads. Uh, a tremendous amount of uh, work on your core, just keeping that torso upright in that position in place. Uh, so that's the basics of the front squat.